Noob Noob, you won't believe it. I heard that they called Batman the F word. What words start with F? Fruitcake? Fizzy sticks? Oh, you mean fag? Yes, the internet is an uproar. And we're going to talk about it too. I guess it's essentially a reaction to the new Blue Beetle trailer. Getting which them Beetle juices. Some people were thinking it looked good. And then they heard the final line, which I was going... Can I play it for you? Or yes, I can. It's by George Lopez, so nobody cares. The word? Yes. The word itself? All right. Well, this part, you won't be able to hear, but we'll read the... The title cards. Closed captioning. Oh, uh, just as the hits like Batman's, Batman's a stuff. fascist. Batman's a fascist. That's yep. right. He's Blue a Beetle said it first. Actually, Blue Beetle didn't say it. George Lopez said it. Yeah, they're in like the Beetle Cave or something. <laughs> the the Beetle Bag or the Beetle the Beetle Basement. Beetle Basement. Beetle Basement. That's what it should be. Beetle Juice. And they end up playing with all this technology, and and then George Lopez just shouts randomly because they're like, oh, it's like Batman stuff. He's like. Batman's a fascist. I don't why? know. Why is he a fascist? Is it because he's white? Is it because... And well, he's a man? Well, what the weird thing is, not this is so weird, this stuff that's popping up in the movies, like in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. When communism. Michael Douglas was like, you know, communism is sure is great. That's the opposite of fascism, though. But that's what I they're think. saying, is that they don't like Batman. Oh, so they like com- I see where they're going. There you go. Everybody wants to be communist. Although now. I would argue Cuba. that if Batman is a bat vigilante where civil liberties are being trampled on in people's cities or they're above the law, wouldn't he be closer to an uh, to a, like an Antifa person? Uh, wait. Like smash the fash. Oh, Jesus. Bash the fash. Wait, is that what Antifa does? They yeah, sma- they're anti-fascist. I thought they are fascists. No, they're anti-fascist. But by being anti-fascist, they are actually fascist. Correct. Okay, that makes sense. And for some reason, I don't, I don't understand. I just don't. There's no real reason why anyone would say that. Nope, other than George Lopez. People are pretty, pretty pissed, though. Whoever wrote that line is someone who's never read Batman at all and probably hates him. And it's a it is a real weird button and that they probably thought it was hilarious. I it's shocking. It's going to make some people not see that. Like, you know, why, but why would you even put it in then? I don't know. Cuz wouldn't you want everyone to see it? No, they just want the Latinos and to I see this. And I don't know that like Batman's not deporting people. Like <laughs> that's not what he does. Just Last go, time I checked, he didn't work for ICE. Just goes around wrangling up the uh, the illegals, illegal shipping because, them out. <laughs> that's not really Batman's deal, right? Goes in Last the... Last time I checked. The Bat Turnman camp. Yes, and he separates children from parents. And yes, little Batlings to little their... Little Batlings. Bat parents. Doesn't make a lot of sense it, to me. It doesn't. I mean, the reason why I want to see it is uh, I think Zolo is a lot of I fun. I don't know if his name is Zolo or YOLO. Hey, YOLO, Jolo? Zolo, I don't know. Jolo, yeah. the kid. How? Let's just call the him karate the karate kid. kid. Yeah. We'll stick with that. The karate kid seems great. I like I liked that kid. He's great in... Uh, he's awesome. He's cute. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a good guy. I like him. I think he can carry the movie. He's a very charming young feller. And I think it'll be... He looks very blue in his beetle suit. He looks very blue. I think people are going to be a little confused. They're like, who's this bloob? Oh, it's not. It's. Who I would be shocked. Guys? Although, I, I think the marker to beat is Shazam 2. Is it going oh. to beat Shazam 2? Uh-huh. And is Zolo going to have a mental breakdown like Zachary Levi did if it doesn't do well? Zachary Levi kind of had a, a mental breakdown. Yeah, dude's after. going on Instagram being like, please see our movie like five times. Uh, people who claim to love Batman versus Superman being upset that a character in a DC movie thinks Batman is a fascist is peak irony. Really? Do you guys understand what irony is? Is that actually Stephen Colbert? So the wait, actual Stephen Colbert? I think it's the fake one. So they're it's saying if you liked mark. Batman versus Superman, then you agree Isn't that he's a fascist? is Superman the fascist in that one? I'm confused. And Batman, I thought, was putting people in jail. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Maybe I don't know what a fa- I thought fascists like the government, like to have the government do a lot of. Listen, stuff. Listen, I don't want my DC movies to have governmental t- 
term I don't want to think this. Yeah. I just want more Beatles and more Batman. Yes. No, none of that commie one potato, two potato shit. And that's the point. People are saying that the Batman is a fascist line. It's going to start so much annoying discourse. I'm not ready. That's the point. Why put it in there? If it's, you know what, it's that hate controversy. That's what they want. They want to, They want you to hate. Watch they want it. you to hate watch it. They want that hate controversy. Hate does not create fandom. If only Batman showed up in this. <laughs> oh my god. He is not. Then he could say whether or not he's a fascist. They could just ask him. Yeah. A Latino dad calling Batman a fascist is some real stuff. Uh huh. I it's just so weird. It's a I thing. just don't care. It happened. I guess it's supposed to be a joke, but I. It's, I don't I'm still know. seeing the movie. Yeah. Getting beetled up. Maybe Beetlejuice is a fascist. I mean, Batman. Who no. isn't a fascist? I think everybody is. Yeah. Probably. Uh, yeah, it looks okay. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say it's uh. You know, I don't think they understand what a fascist is because fasc- Ben Affleck's fascist killed criminals on site and tried to kill Superman. That Fascists don't like just try to kill. Is everybody. fascist just another term for murderer? I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, what I think they have their definitions confused. People, yeah. they need to get these people some dictionaries. Dictionaries all around. I don't know. What do you, you so you're going to see it? Yep. You're not beetled. upset by the, by the no. uh, fascist line. No, I hope George Lopez definitely gets murdered in that movie, though. Okay, now you're just hoping for yeah. his death. Oh, I, I hope mean, the fascist comes and get him. Yeah. That'd be funny. Batman just takes him away and deports him. Oh, God. That's that's a thing. That'd be real messed up if there's a deportation in that movie. That would be real, that would be real weird. We don't even know who the villain is. I'd so. just be uncomfortable. Ice. Ice is the villain? Yeah. But I'll, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Would you? I uh, yeah, getting legal citizenship is the villain. Because it's very hard. I guess. I don't know. Because the fascists are stopping them. Probably. We support everyone getting citizenship, including the Blue Beetle. Exactly. I I think it looks like a fun movie. I hope the budget wasn't like if the budget was two hundred million, it's gonna flop. If the budget was like a hundred million, maybe it'll make the money back. It's gonna be real hard to tell. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. We'd like to hear what you think because this is a tricky one. I don't think Batman's a fascist, though. I'm just going to say that. Is Beetlejuice <clears throat> a fascist? Beetlejuice, the ghost exorcist or Blue Beetle? Both. I think we said Beetlejuice three times. We did. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Well, then that's how we're going to end it. Uh, we will be summoned down to the dead world and be taken out. Uh, be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast. It is free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. You can catch our live stream 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can rumble with us, rumble and bumble, and uh, check out. We probably have some giveaways on our next live broadcast. Maybe. Maybe. I has things. Maybe not. Who knows? Let us know what you think down below about the Blue Beetle, and we'll catch you on the next one because we are on to the next one.